Okay, so as I am here, I was thinking about one more thing. I was watching a video of one of guys that I am subscribed to, Element Toolmaker, I think. His name is, or his channel name is, and he demonstrated a DIY hot plate. So this is the video that I am talking about, and this is my comment about the steering. So I guess I will have to replicate this experiment, shall I say. He basically did this. A fan and magnets. So, I want to make this set up. So, here's the steering. I don't have a steer bar. I have, I have a plastic tube with no DME magnet in that, so that may... That may produce a little bit of inaccuracy. So, I am powering this fan with 5 volts. And you can see that the string is quite strong. And I can... I can stop this by hand and... It will go out of sync and it won't steer anymore. Yeah, I can turn the motor with the stir bar. So let's see if it will spin up when I am blocking the stir bar. Absolutely. So, next important thing may be the power rating of this motor and the... Is there RPM rating? Uh, there's part number so you can google that if you really want to know that. So, I tried this with 1.8 watt motor I guess and it worked also as well so... But the stronger the motor, the better, basically. I mean, on one, on one hand. On the other hand, it can go really easily out of sync, so that may cause problems. But if you have... Well, you can hook up to the, to the whole sensor and you can, you can drive this with Arduino and, or whatever. And you can detect going out of sync, basically you will have, you will have too high RPMs. So you can detect that and stop it. Also, what I was suggesting was using this heating element. This is this is heating element from the kettle. As you can see, it's it's basically cast in aluminum. Yes, this is this is stainless steel, and there is some ceramic heating element and overcast with aluminum. Yeah, man, this thing looks like it will last forever. When, of course when you will run this at some lower power rating. This says 240 volts, 2 kilowatt. And there's also part number. You know what? Let's do this. Can I... Mm, there are some screws there. My idea was to use this slip or flange to basically mount it to some device and hold it by that so you can center it on the diameter and hold it axially. Okay, so the best case these are glued with aluminium, worst case these are welded on. And by these marks I can tell that I don't know. But probably welded. Also using absolutely improper tool to do this. But you know what? You know what? These are just overcast. These are not welded. That's perfect. Yeah, so this is... Is this flathead? Yeah. And from the top... Yeah, there's a little bit of damage. Maybe if you if you twist it and twist it very fast and pull, then you will melt the aluminium and do it without damage. Anyway, so can this spin? Yep. Mm, that's nice. Is it? Is it experiencing some resistance from the eddy currents? 
I would say so. Look at that, look at that. And let's turn this around, put some additional load on it. Yeah, fuck off, mate. But, mate, mate. But look at this, 30 millimeter piece of aluminum. I'm so fucking lootly. What? Wow, we. Also, my server is broken. The force is weak with this one, but... Come on... Oh, I forgot I had sodium hydroxide there. Ah, oh, shit! Yeah, it's probably carbonated this time. So, yeah, it definitely needs some spacer there. This is, what, 12 millimeters? Yep. And coupling is not so strong that it will stall the motor. Let's try to rearrange this if it's possible. Okay. This side and this side. Okay, so I put a spacer here, so what will happen there, the RPMs of the motor will increase and... And you definitely want some distance from the hot plate to the magnet, because if the magnet will heat up, at least now the new magnet, if it will heat up up to about... 80 degrees Celsius or so, it will lose its magnetism. The next alternative to that is aluminium nickel cobalt or samarium cobalt magnets. They are also quite powerful and they can reach some higher temperatures than neodymium magnets. And maybe you were interested in some dimensions there, weren't you? So this is about... This thing is about 135 millimeters at the lip and heated surface is 120 millimeters. I am using 120 millimeter fan and that's it, I guess. Maybe, maybe this is 18 millimeter diameter magnet and 5 millimeter tall. There are two of them. The bottom one is holding on some steel cap that these blades have. And basically there are two to just amplify the magnetic field strength. I mean this test will not tell us too much because once again there's neodymium magnet in the stir bar, which in normal magnet you have uh, which in normal stir bar you have ceramic magnets, so I want to see what will happen if I if I basically put quite a lot of material on this stir bar, if it will start or not. I guess we can call this settled. That's perfect. Although once again it's carbon. Well, it's enough for today. Uh, so thanks for watching and bye.